Tigers and Diamondbacks getting set for game two here this afternoon, but it's a very, very busy day in downtown Detroit. Taylor Swift played last night. She's playing again today, and it seems like everybody in this city is going to one of these two shows. But it's not for everyone, which begs the question, which would be your favorite concert? Natalie Kerwin joins us now with today's Miller Light Report. She posed that question inside the dugout and inside the clubhouse to these guys. Natalie, you're center stage now with all the answers. <laughs> I am. I'm the one with all of today's hot answers, okay? I, you guys, to be honest with you, Taylor Swift has been the talk of the town this entire weekend. It's almost getting to be a little much. I think the guys in the clubhouse feel that way, too. But we were going around just talking about it, talking about ticket prices. I mean, the cheapest one this morning was going for $1,500, which I personally think that's insane. So do they. But then we got talking, well, would they pay that pretty penny to see someone else? Here's what they had to say. Well, Drake's coming. Uh, Drake's coming to Little Caesars at the All Star break, so I'd like to go to that. And I think it's expensive, so probably that. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to do it. There's a concert that I actually missed. It was in spring in Arizona this year. It was like um, Dustin Lynch. It was. Some other people open them for him, but it was like definitely some of the top like country artists that I that I would want to go see right now. But um, but yeah, I haven't really, I'm not a big concert guy. I haven't been to many concerts recently. But Dustin Lynch, he's probably up there as mine right now. But you'd put a whole check out there for a country guy. Yeah, probably country more than any other genre. Probably Chris Stapleton. It's awesome. Is it because he's playing right now? No, no, I didn't even know he's playing right now. <laughs> but no, he's an awesome singer. I've heard like his his concerts and like I appreciate how he plays uh, the guitar and like just sits there and sings. That'd be awesome. Uh, Ed Sheeran probably. Ed Sheeran. You know he'll be here in July. Yeah, I actually did know he's coming. So if if I can go, I will go. All right, that's a pretty good selection there. I like all those guys. Drake. Chris Stapleton, Ed Sheeran. It's, they got a wide variety of music in that clubhouse. So I would honestly, I would probably, I would, I would pay a pretty penny to see Drake or Post Malone. Those two are my favorites. I actually am going to Post Malone later this summer. But oh, nice. I, oh. I know, I, I'm know super them. excited. And I want to go to Drake. But I want to ask you guys, okay, would, would you spend a pretty penny to go see any of those people? Or have you spent an ungodly amount of money to go see somebody. Admit it right now. Or well, who would you see? I, I didn't pay a lot of money because it was way back in the day, but my very first concert, and I would see him again, was Ozzy Osbourne. 1983, Joe oh, Louis wow. Arena, Quiet Riot what Open. A crazy okay. train. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't pay a whole lot. I didn't pay 1500 bucks, no. but uh, Ozzy. Yeah, I'd still see him again today, but Snoop Dogg, I would pay yeah. the money. Snoop? For. Well, I got lucky. <laughs> I got a chance to go to the Joe Louis Arena and get a chance to see my favorite, Little Wayne. Got a chance to go backstage, so that was awesome. Now, Ooh. I don't know about paying a pity penny for it or how much I spend, but I'm all about Luke Combs. I think Luke Combs I saw would him rock last it out. Month. With his, I, mean, I just love the voice. I love the voice, and he's just a big old teddy bear. <laughs> and I feel like that's kind of how I am. Yeah, well, there you have yeah. it, Natalie. Those are the answers today. Okay, perfect. I do always hear Simo singing little country tunes little here country and there, so it makes, there, you know? it makes sense. Strumming that guitar. You, know? you are the man.